Here we are then with some of the members of the Hunting Live Forum. Uh, we're at a uh, bit of a meet today and it was a bit of a send off for Mike, otherwise known as Scuba. Hello. <laughs> there he is, gone all embarrassed. See, so sat around, a bit of a fire going. Last night we had the barbecue. <coughs> Got some Piri Piri Squirrel on the go. Yep, Piri Piri Squirrel, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, we've got a bit of a uh, target range set up, Davy and Charlie set up. Uh, all different HFT knockdowns with a really small spinner out there at 65. And then actually on the barbecue itself, which I'll show you. Uh, we've got a bit of a squirrel, Phil's, uh, which is Davy's brother, went out this morning with Davy's Air Arms S410 and shot a squirrel. And Davy's just skinned and gutted it. I'm just going to uh, zoom out and then I'll move around now. There you go, you see the squirrel there, nicely cooking over the fire. There's Phil, David's brother, the guy who shot it. And then just behind Phil, if I move over here, we've got Davy and Laura. Davy's just showing Laura his new. HW97, what he's just had back, instead of the new spring and everything put in it. Just got to put a scope on it. Same as Sean. Laura, wave to the camera. 25 for Sean. I don't think he's waiting for me to die. This is a view now looking along the uh, shooting line. So we've got a couple of SMK uh, K CO2 rifles there belonging to uh, Charlie's uh, children. Surprisingly, I was quite impressed trying them earlier on uh, this morning. They're quite accurate, and I've seen uh, a few 45 yard squirrels knocked down with them. Obviously, David there, and Laura. His new toy. Are you shooting it with no scope on? Are you leading it up? Just leading the barrel up. It's, it's quite quiet, that is, you know. You see, the fire's uh, stocked up really well now. We had a few uh, spits of rain, but only little showers. Don't spoil a good weekend, especially when you're out with like-minded people, uh, enjoying a sport and a hobby together. Remember to keep your eye back a little bit till you get a full picture. That's it. Otherwise you'll get a black eye. Bang on. Bang so what will range with that at? 40 yards. Oh, well done. Yeah. Bang on. Yeah. Bang on. And it didn't hit my head. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Because you Thanks put the correct eye release there. Christmas. <laughs> What's happening here is uh, some of the guys have uh, been given a pheasant, a duck, uh, and on the floor, if I just zoom in there, there's a partridge, and these have all been purchased uh, from a, a gamekeeper. Uh, and the, the actual hare we've got here has been humanely shot. Uh, we've got something else there. Is that a partridge as well? I think that's a quail. A quail. I think. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. So what's actually happening tonight is it's all going to be cleaned, plucked, uh, and then Mike's going to be cooking uh, a bit of a game barbecue with the uh, food we've got there. See the uh, duck hair. Hair's quite a nice hair. I'm moving a little bit closer. The duck's getting plucked nicely. That's Charlie, he's the fire builder. Shows your catalogue pose. 
<laughs> Ramos! Ramos! Show us your war face. I don't know. Go on, show us your aggressive war face. I left it at home, mate. I forgot it. Just the hair getting prepared. Dad! That's the hair now. Skin. The mic's just cleaning it up. There we go. That's that lot. Is that ready for spicy now then? That is now ready for for a bit of spice and for the fuck. This is Davy shooting his new Vara HW97 KT nickel plated version. Uh, we've just zeroed it at 30 yards and then calibrated it out to 65 yards and it's shooting really nice to the truth. The trigger on it. I actually thought when I shot it that it had been tuned because it's that nice a trigger. And I think it's the uh, trigger being as nice as it is what's helped it uh, to actually hit targets at 65 yards. And uh, the wind as well. A bit of a breeze. But quite shot stood at 30 yards off to one side uh, watching Zero, uh, Davy Zero in a safe direction uh, I could, all I could hear was the pellet actually hitting the target you couldn't actually hear the, the muzzle report at all And this is the youngest member of the hunting life. This is Florence with the dad Andy. And that in her mouth is the new prototype for the Virac HW102 assault dummy. Well, what we're doing here is Nikki's just demonstrating uh, some of the things she learnt when she was in the Olympic uh, pistol team. Uh, and she's taking uh, the cans now, I'll just zoom in, this is it, just at 10 yards, excellent shooting. Right, okay, if you hold it there Nicky, I'm just going to go up now, uh, and you see the uh, 25 yard can we've put out, there's an the actual marker there, look, 25 yards, I'll just zoom into it, uh, see if you can uh, take that 25 yarder. Oh, lovely what shot. shot! What a shot! And that's the accuracy there of uh, what's the what's the rifle, Andy? CP, oh, pistol? Yeah. It's a CP88. CP. Yeah, I'll just zoom out and just show you. Again, there's Nicky like holding it. It's the competition spec. Right, do you reckon you could take the uh, 30 yarder out, Nicky? Oh, that'd be impressive. One second, I'll zoom in. I'll tell you when I'm on. Just getting in there now. Right. Go on then, this is 30 yards this, this is a, with a pistol doing about two foot pa Oh, no, one second, I'm on the, yeah I'm on the right one, sorry. That's the rabbit, he wobbling a little bit. Oh, <laughs> what a shot, I'll just zoom out and show you. Look at that. Wow. Right, have we got any, oh there's one out there, 45 yards. Right, she's going to try now the ultimate one. It's the 45 yard can with a pistol. I'll just zoom in so you can see. Do you reckon she'll get this, Andy? Well, I've seen her do it before. How long was she in the Olympic team for? Well, I think it was about three or four years in it. Three or four years. Go on then, see if you can take that. I'll be impressed if you hit that with a pistol. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Oh, that is amazing. Come on, take a curtsy to the camera. Yeah, have a look at the camera and give a bow. <laughs> That's a modest woman. Because we're that impressed with uh, Nikki's shooting ability with that pistol, we've actually set her an ultimate challenge and we've put a target out now. I'm just going to pan around and zoom in. And it's at 61 metres. And she reckons she can hit it. So, so let's see if you can. Whenever you're ready. I seriously die. Oh, oh, I don't believe it! Oh, look at that! What a shot! That is amazing. Right, what David's going to attempt now with his Virac, now we've just calibrated it, is if I zoom in slowly, see the uh, squirrel there, 45 yards. See how he gets on. Oh, lovely shot. There you go. This is so accurate. It's unreal. Right here, Si. We've gonna calibrate the scope on the Ultra. Put a new scope on it. It's a magnification of four. And we're gonna try and uh, get this target down here at 100 yards, Si. It's, no, it's 100 metres. 100 metres. Yeah, I just wanna get it. We just, we just wanna uh, on that hit the plate. Pocket. Right, Si, ready when you are. I'm doing this freehand, that's why you can see it moving about a bit, but uh... There you go, 100 yard shot, right hand side of the target. It's a handy zero target this is, because it's got like panels that uh, move, gives you an indication where the pellet's landing. Two hits, 100 yards, 100 metres sorry. I'm trying to keep this still as I can. There you go. That's not bad, is Left it? and right panel. Nice shooting side. See how close I can get to that middle bit. It's, it's close. Do you want me to carry on? Yeah, just one more. Let's try one more. It's the actual mill dot is bigger than the actual target. Yeah, that's, it's a hawk scope. That's why. Oh yes, you hit the target. Did I do it? Yeah, I heard that from here. Yeah. That was aimed smack for the centre bit. But according to Chegg, there's only three foot pound left at that range. Right, yeah. Oh, yes! Bang in the centre. Well done. Well, I'll just zoom out to show you. Tried to keep this live as much as we could. There you go. Jesus. Did you see it rock? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's, that's not bad, is it? 100... Shot from there. 100 metres. Oh, unlucky. Oh, that hit it. You might hit it on the top again. Exploding target. Oh. Good shot. <laughs> right, this is a Firebird exploding target in the dark with no illumination at 65 yards. <laughs> They've just hit one, but I didn't have record on them. <laughs> Typical. Ah, I knew it were a fluke. <laughs> I can't, I've got... <laughs> oh, oh, excuses coming out now. Si, I think you need to get the ultra out. I think I'm going to have to get the ultra out. These boys can't do it. And there's at least, what, 1,800 pounds worth of rifle there in front of us. I'll give him a couple of more shots and I'll get the ultra out. Use 
Try to an arc first. And there you see the ultra. One of them was actually shot on the oh. 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 Was, was that the ultra again? Oh. On the first shot. <laughs> Uh, what we've got here is, is some uh, blank firing caps and they've been uh, put into a wooden board and they're at 30, is it 35? Yeah, 35 yards and there's four shooters and you've got to hit them on top of sleep. <coughs> I suppose as I'm the reigning champion I ought to go last. You, you know you just go on your own, you just keep oh, right, going. Okay. Go for the far right. You've got one each. I'm on the far right then. Just about with these turrets at all? No, I uh, haven't. Your far left. When you're in that. Right, see you now. It's alright. Got enough to go to the pints, it'll probably go the other way. Oh, what's up, mate? You're missing by miles. <laughs> you're funny, that. <laughs> oh, look at that on there. Who's just that one on the far right? Inch to the right and inch up. Inch to the left, even. Oh, that's a bit of a... Is that the reigning champion, by any chance? <laughs> My God. Must have been, oh, that must have been a bad pellet and all, mate. That one went really low, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, little ultra. Oh, is that the little ultra? <laughs> no, it's not the little ultra, is it? On his second shot. Oh, wait a minute, let me zoom out. Are we still oh, at 35? No. I've just realised I've shot the wrong one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not Laura's little ultra smashing uh, what we got here. We've got a BSAR 10, Mark 2, wakey wakey, yeah, yeah, you all beat. And a Vara HW100, all in 177. Oh, you've been beaten all. Which one has gone? Third from the, uh, yeah, yeah. Third from the le uh, left. The one what we're taking by the ultra at 300 quid. <laughs> 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 Ain't nothing in that. Come on, mate, with that R10, you should be smack. Oh, there we go, well done. <laughs> How's the reigning champion doing? Let me have a look. <laughs> oh, should we start? Hold a minute. Is that the reigning <laughs> champion? Do you want me to take yours out for you? Oh, my God. I reckon I could. Did you get it? On. Oh, did you get a bit of free ah. Eye too close to, to the scope. Oh, well, I did. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that ruined it. I got it, didn't you wanna I? Be, you want to be about two inches away from it. Yeah. <laughs> That's called not having the eye, right eye relief. But she, she flattened it. It's gone spinning straight round like that. It's a direct hit. And that's something I've wanted to do for ages but can't. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Go on, carry on. Thanks. Day over this weekend. It's been a real great weekend. And also, it's a shame that we're going to lose our uh, camp cook. <laughs> camp cook for good because he's leaving our shores. And good friend. Okay. And a good friend as well of all of us. So, from all of us, we'd like to present you with this. What is it? A dead pigeon? Yes. There's <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> Ooh, take it out. Do the thing. That's really funny. <laughs> Shark kids. Yeah, bloody typical, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's have a little something to remember, everyone. Yeah. Read it what it says, Mike. Yeah. Read it out, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> there are many types of ships. There are wooden ships, metal ships, fiberglass ships, nothing called. Most important types. The best ships are friendships. Good luck, Mike. From your friends. Cheers, guys. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. That looks nice on your boat, doesn't it? Yep. But why a shark fin? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sail. It's, like it's a sail. That's a bit like giving your mother-in-law a cactus. <laughs>